Flying turbocharged airplanes is a great lot of fun. They offer a virtual doubling of good cruise altitudes, and in the wintertime, there are some spectacular tailwinds to be found in the lower flight levels, which begin with 18,000 feet as flight level 180. The best tailwind I have found increased the ground speed of my pressurized 210 to 324.7 knots, the precision on that reading coming from a Garbin GPS. The turbocharger even has some advantage over that ever-magic kerosene-burning turbine engine. It generally does a better job of maintaining horsepower with altitude. For example, there's an Allison turboprop version of my airplane. It'll blow mine into the weeds in the mid-teens, but as the airplanes are flown higher, the turboprop's climb and speed advantage wanes, simply because my turbocharged piston can make more power at the airplane's certified ceiling of 23,000 feet than can the turboprop. Looking at the negatives, at the same fuel flow, a turbocharged airplane is slower than a similar non-turbocharged airplane at low altitude, simply because it isn't as efficient down low. Thus, the non-turbo will likely do better on ground speed when westbound in the active seasons. There's the question of reliability, too. There's more to break when you add the turbocharger and its control mechanisms, and these things do occasionally break. Also, the engine will generally be run at higher power settings for longer periods of time, so there's more internal wear. The record, though, doesn't show an abnormal increase in risk because you fly a turbocharged airplane. Maintenance will cost more, and the time between overhaul will be fewer hours. But if that required maintenance money is spent, then the turbo should at least come close to the normally aspirated engine in reliability. The real risk increase with higher flying is related more to weather than to the mechanicals. We'll talk about that a bit more later. How does a turbocharger work? The device has a turbine and a compressor section. The turbine is driven by exhaust flow and is connected to the compressor by a shaft. 